This class we work out one problem using Newton Raphson method. Given is a three bus system. One bus is a slack bus. The voltage is 1.05 angle zero degrees. Two and three are load buses. The real power is 256.6 megawatts. 110.2 megavolt ampere reactive. This is 138.6 megawatts. 45.2 megavolt ampere reactive. Line series admittances are given. First step we have to form a Y bus matrix. Set the calculator in the radian mode. This is the magnitude, this is in radians. This is the Y bus of the system. Second step, initialize the bus voltages. Here V1 is equal to 1.05 per unit. Delta 1 is equal to 0. V2 is equal to V3 is equal to 1 per unit. Delta 2, Delta 3 is equal to 0. Third step, we have to find the P2, Q2, P3 and Q3. The general formula is PA is equal to modulus of VI. Sigma J is equal to 1 dn modulus of VJ, YIJ, cos theta IJ minus delta I plus delta J. QA is equal to modulus of VI, sigma J is equal to 1 dn modulus of VJ modulus of YIJ sin theta IJ minus delta I plus delta J. Here I is the fixed variable, J is the running variable. I is equal to 2, J is equal to 1, 2, 3. I is equal to 3, J is equal to 1, 2, 3. Substitute I and J in these two equations. You get P2 minus Q2, P3 minus Q3. Substitute all the values from this matrix. You can calculate P2, Q2, P3, Q3. P2 is equal to minus 0.469. Q2 is equal to minus 1.016, P3 is equal to minus 0.518, Q3 is equal to minus 1.495. The fourth step is we have to find the difference that is del P2, del P3, del Q2, del Q3. First step we have to calculate P2 specified, P3 specified, Q2 specified and Q3 specified. Base NBA is equal to 100. The bus 2 and bus 3 are load buses, therefore the real and reactive power generation is 0. Now I can easily calculate P2 specified is equal to minus 2.566, P3 specified is minus 1.386, Q2 specified is minus 1.102, Q3 specified is minus 0.452. Now I can easily find the difference. That is del P is equal to specified minus calculator. Del Q is equal to specified minus calculator. Del P2 is equal to minus 2.097. Del P3 is minus 0.868. Del Q2 is minus 0.086. Del Q3 is equal to 1.043. Step 5 we have to form a Jacobian matrix. So J1, J2, J3, J4. This is Del P2, Del P3, Del Q2, Del Q3. This is del del 2, del del 3, del modulus of E2, del modulus of V3. The size of the Jacobian matrix is 2n minus 2 by 2n minus 2. If a system consists of only one generator bus, remaining buses are load buses, this is a formula. For the number of buses are 3. Therefore, 2 into 3 minus 2, 4 by 4 matrix. That is the size of the Jacobian matrix. Once you take inverse of the Jacobian matrix, you can calculate a change in del 2, change in del 3, change in V2, change in V3. That is the sixth step. Once you know these values, the first iteration value is initial value plus this value. Similarly, del del 3, first iteration value is initial value plus this value. First iteration V2 value is initial 1 plus this value. Similarly, V3, first iteration value is Initial value 1 plus this value. This way, that, that will be the next iteration value. So, in that way, we have to proceed the problem till the convergence is obtained. Okay. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.